Chinese cabbages is a bit difficult to succeed with in our Swedish climate. The timing has to be absolutely right. These plants were sown in early April and have grown in my polytunnel. They are transplanted once and in 1st of May they were planted here in my smaller polytunnel in the north parts of the garden. The soil has first been cleaned from weeds and I have dug down Bokashi compost. The most significant about Chinese cabbages is that they grow very quickly and therefore it's important to make sure it gets what it needs in terms of nutrition and water. If it doesn't get it, it might be a risk that plant starts to bloom. Well, it can do it anyway, especially in spring, when the days get warmer and brighter. The earlier it can get to the planting site, the better. Well, provided it's not too cold, of course. Now it has been 20 days after planting. Alba and I start to harvest the outer leaves. We do not wait until the entire heart has been completely shaped. The outer leaves can be split lengthwise and fried quickly as bok choy or used fresh in salad. Just a week later, all plants have created like small hearts, only one month after planting. Chinese cabbages grow incredibly fast and we have been able to harvest large leaves every day. The larger plants have now bigger hearts and I harvest some of them too. Unfortunately, several plants here were attacked by the cabbage root fly. The attacks are noticeable first when plants beginning to look a bit, well, faded and sad. When I move a little on the plant, it sits loosely in the ground and when I pull it up, all roots are basically disappeared. At the rootstock, there are white larvae that have eaten the roots. And to protect against the cabbage root fly, the planting can be covered with nettings, all ready from the planting and forward. It's an easy way to make sure that flies will not lay their eggs by the root of the plant. But still, the cabbages harvested here tasted absolutely delicious. And I really recommend all of you to try growing Chinese cabbages at home.